Yes, oh yes, it is time to learn how to add images to the screen. Gonna be awesome, uh uh uh. All right, so of course the first thing we need are a couple images. I'm just gonna be using my logo, which is a ping and my face. They're both about like 200 by 200, I think. But anyways, go grab any images off the internet or if you have some on your computer, you can just use those. Make sure that they aren't too big because you know you don't want them taking up your entire screen somewhere around like 200 by 200 is fine and now you can copy them and paste them but the easiest way is just to take them and drag them from your finder to this folder right here the supporting files directory and release and finished and check it out so you now have the files there you go there's a picture of my face and here's a logo I'm working on I don't know if this is the one that is gonna be the final logo I'm thinking about having two of these because like if you are used to like C++ or anything you have two little arrows but I don't know anyways that's irrelevant so let's go ahead and learn how to take these and print them out on our iPhone screen so go back to your example and I deleted everything except this context because like I said you always need that context and again we're gonna be writing all of this in the draw rect nothing new there so the first thing we need is just pretty much a reference to these files right here a reference to this and a reference to that and let's go ahead and do that right now so the first one on my face I'll just call Bucky's face anytime you want a reference to an image you can just call UI image and the parameters for this is named and what is your image named well my face is what is it bucky.jpg so bucky.jpg and I might as well create one for that logo as well so I'll just write uh, like logo image and that is logo.ping all right so now we can actually use these variables or constants instead of just the file names or anything like that so you need to turn it into a UI image object before you can print it out using this draw rect or any of these cool core graphic functions so now that we got that taken care of the next parameter that we need to set is now that you have an image where do you want to print it out on the screen top right bottom left you need to give me some coordinates here so for the coordinates it's always good to make a location and for this you actually use CG point make and of course these coordinates just like your rectangle is where do you want to position the top left of your image so I'll just put this at like a 2525 25. so it'll appear in the top left corner and now once we got all that taken care of we need to actually draw this image and what one are we gonna use we'll draw my face first so take this and this is how you draw on the screen so that's the image and put a question mark after it and that just checks if it's nil or not and we want to say draw at point so you want to draw this image at what location well how about this one right there and you see how the parameter takes a CG point well how convenient we we'll just use that so that's actually all that we need to do so now if I go ahead and run this check it out all right so what it did is got a reference to my face and it went over 25 down 25 and says okay I'm gonna draw the image right here now a lot of people like doing this but another um, really cool useful thing that you can do with images is you can make them a background image and I know for right now this would be the worst background image you usually would want like some kind of texture or something really popular now is if you take a photograph of something and make it really blurry then it gives you kind of this cool color blending together effect and they make really good backgrounds but just for this example I'll use this which whenever we stretch it out as a background it's gonna look really dumb but you know it'll demonstrate what I'm trying to achieve so 
So let me just cut or comment this out. And I'll just add a comment like draw normal. So anytime you want to just draw a normal image or add a normal image to the screen, there you go. And I'll make another one called fill the screen. So this, of course, I'm going to show you guys how to take an image and fill the entire screen. In other words, add a background. So I'm just going to say let entire screen equal this. So the first thing we need to do is we're going to get a reference to the screen. So why do we want to do this? Why don't we just want to figure out, you know, look up how big iPhone 5 is and then stretch your image to that size? Well, because whenever you're making a background image, you don't know the size of the device. Are they using an iPhone 6, an iPad, an iPad mini? What the heck? So it's always good to pretty much get a reference in other words, get the dimensions of the screen dynamically. So if you go UI screen and you call main screen, this is your screen and the property called bounds. Let me see if that pops up. Bounds, the bounding rectangle of the screen measured in points. In other words, what this is are the dimensions or the size of their screen. So now we have that size in the variable entire screen and we can say okay now draw an image how big do you want it to be well how about that size entire screen so let's just actually do this with logo image i probably should have got you know some cool looking background online but whatever and we'll just say draw in rect because instead of draw it point which pretty much you give a point and it draws the image right there we want to draw in rect. In other words, we're making a rectangle of some size and we're going to fill this image in that rectangle. And our rectangle is the screen itself. So entire screen. So that is the difference between those two. And now check it out. So like I said, it makes a really dumb background for this. But of course, yours is going to be either a cool looking texture or, you know, maybe something actually check this out like even a background like this that would be cool but anyways now you know the basics of it i will leave the artwork and creativity up to you guys so uh yeah i'll see you guys in the next video